In this movie, I would like to explain the vapor phase reflow soldering process, its characteristics, benefits and how a reflow oven is working. So what does it mean? The vapor phase is a process where the energy is generated by condensation. In other words, heat transfer based on the thermal energy transfer is emitted by the phase change of condensing vapor. Condensation is known as a very effective heat transfer method. The heat transfer coefficient can be a multiple times higher than the coefficient of forced air and finally condensation is generating a very high heat capacity. To reflow something then the reflow solder paste must be applied in between a printed circuit board and a surface mounted component. The solder paste gets heated up above the melting temperature of the solder paste itself and then cooled down again. This technology is used in the field of soft soldering, for example surface mounted technology applications. The maximum temperatures available in the vapor phase is 260 degrees centigrade, but commonly the temperature range used is in between 230 and 240 degrees centigrade. Other temperatures are also available. The story began with complex and challenging applications followed by the aerospace and defense industry, which recognized the vapor phase reflow method as a safe and reliable soldering process. Nowadays, the vapor phase is widely accepted worldwide among R&D companies, EMS and OEMs with low to mid volume production. How does it work? Well, there is a so-called process tank made of stainless steel. At the bottom of this tank there are heating elements. Then we need the fluid called galden which is a fluorinated liquid, commonly the LS-230 or HS-240, having the corresponding boiling temperatures. Those fluids have excellent electrical properties, are isolating, allow for rapid and residue-free drying, develop an inert atmosphere during the preheat and soldering, are non-corrosive and have other advantages. This fluid is filled into the process tank in a cold state. It then gets heated up with the help of the heating elements. As soon as the boiling temperature is reached it creates vapor which then begins to rise in the process tank. Since the density of the vapor is high it will stay in the bottom part of the process tank. Then the power of the heating elements gets reduced. Now the solder application needs to be prepared. Solder paste is applied to the PCB and the SMD components are placed. The PCB is then placed on a workpiece carrier which is a part of the vapor phase machine. The product can now be put into the vapor blanket slowly getting immersed. It gets preheated, so the vapor is condensing, thus heating up the product. The temperature begins to rise. The preheat phase is an oxygen-free process. There is no oxygen in the vapor blanket. The next step is product soldering. The vapor continues to condense on the product within the oxygen-free atmosphere. Vapor creates a homogeneous heat transfer. PCB begins to reach the melting temperature of the solder paste, changing from solidus to liquidus. The process is a fully automated sensor-controlled process. The product now reaches the same temperature of the vapor and the vapor continues to rise. As it reaches a thermocouple, which is detecting the vapor temperature, it controls the automatic end of the soldering step, so the temperature is reached and finishes the solder cycle automatically. 
Now we begin with the evaporating and cooling process. This is a physical drying due to the evaporation of the fluid from the PCB surface. Finally the product will begin to cool down with the help of convectional air in the cooling chamber to allow to unload the product after the soldering process. The solder is now in a solid state, product gets cooled down and the solder cycle is now fully completed. The main advantage of vapor phase is the inert atmosphere oxygen-free soldering, perfect wetting, efficient and homogeneous heat transfer, no shadowing, no risk of overheating components, small and high mass components reach the same peak temperature as the boiling liquid, no stress, and last but not least, the automatic process control. The vapor phase machines are perfect for soldering densely populated high mixed boards including components like BGAs, LGAs including fine pitch, reels, chokes, transformers, LEDs, LCO capacitors, SOT transistors, power devices. The restriction of hazardous substances forces the manufacturers of electronic equipment to use lead-free solder paste solder alloys. Lead-free solder Tin silver copper alloy usually has a melting temperature of 217 to 221 degrees centigrade. So the soldering temperature is higher and this is causing ongoing heating issues, concerns for PCB manufacturers. The vapor phase reflow process can be and is often a solution to solve this. In order to beat the rules compliance, the process window became considerably smaller since the melting temperature of solder alloys increased. The process window is now half of what it was previously. This is clearly visible in the green area of the graph. So a vapor phase can be a good solution with the physically defined temperatures. The challenges that the electronic manufacturers are facing nowadays are enormous. The processing speeds and the working performances are permanently increasing. This is resulting in more compact electronic circuit boards, smaller components on smaller areas and higher mix of small and large components. Also here a vapor phase can help to meet all these requirements. Environment friendly production is a subject that everyone is talking about nowadays. A vapor phase process is definitely environmental friendly. This process is using vapor to transfer heat and as a result the energy consumption is very low. Furthermore, no nitrogen is needed because of the oxygen free atmosphere in those machines. The heat capacity of the vapor is very efficient. Therefore the electric energy rate is kept at a minimum. So let's summarize. Vapor phase soldering is a reflow process where heat is transferred by condensing vapor. The vapor itself is generated by special fluid. The vapor is heavier than air, therefore the atmosphere of soldering is inert and the soldering applications are effectively and evenly heated up. Components do not get overheated. And this is where a vapor phase can really help. If you have any questions about vapor phase reflow soldering machines and would like to learn more, then we would at IBL be very pleased to support you. Please feel free to contact us. Thank you for watching and listening.